if you're interested in learning about NixOS, you're investigating NixOS, eventually you're going to run into the term flakes. And I just want to go ahead and describe what flakes are, why I'm not using them, and <clears throat> kind of some of uh, my general opinions on using flakes and that this kind of experimental stuff with NixOS, because flakes in NixOS is actually an experimental feature. Let's go ahead and I'll switch over to my desk cam and we can talk about flakes. I just now noticed that my desktop, I just did a whole talk with my desktop, not even being properly set up. Awesome. I'm going to leave this in the video. This will be like a blooper thing. Oh my gosh. Select the monitor. Yes. No, not cancel. Okay. Whatever. It, 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 it works. <coughs> so flakes is a feature of managing Nix packages to simplify usability and improve re reproducibility on Nix installations. Flakes manages dependencies between Nix expressions, which are the primary protocols for, for specifying packages. Flakes implements these protocols in a consistent schema with a common set of poli policies for managing packages. It's a very roundabout way of saying Flakes helps you actually manage your Nix OS configurations and like, you know, the channel you're going to pull from and you can define a whole bunch of stuff that is used in many different places inside of your configuration and also you can have multiple different configurations inside of essentially one flake you can have one flake build out a whole bunch of different configurations and if we go into the actual like the normal schema for a flake, you, it's actually really quite simple. You're going to have your description, inputs, outputs, and then your Nix config is a part of your outputs, uh, typically. And well, as far as I know, pretty much always. And it's going to actually do some extra stuff uh, when it comes to your configuration. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. The page for the actual wiki is pretty good you can go through go i do recommend going through it but also if you haven't seen vim joyer has a fantastic fantastic video on flakes highly recommend you check that out now i had a comment here and i i want to go ahead and address it and get into why i don't use flakes Someone said you should set up a flake in your dot files and your config in that folder. Uh, you can have you can have it in Git and you can use a mini installer. Just got just get into boot clone your config, run one command and your system is up and running. Uh, it's also much easier to edit and you can have a desktop and lap laptop in the same config. Uh, kind of like what I was talking about there. You can have different configs all inside of one flake. Uh, so Zio Camo, thank you for the comment. But I don't use flakes, not because they are difficult to use, hard to learn, or hard to understand. I simply do not use them in my own config because the idea for my NixOS configuration is I want exactly exactly the system that I want to use as my daily driver, as simple to set up as humanly possible and as simple to wrap your head around if you're new to NixOS for anybody out there. I, my, my system here is not only built just for me, but also built for someone else to be able to use and understand if they want to. So Flakes adds a layer of complexity to the configuration. And it's not that it's even Flakes are that hard to understand. It's just another thing for someone to have to try to wrap their head around if they're completely new to, to NixOS. And I would like my configuration to be as approachable as it can be for anybody who wants it. So that's why I'm not using Flakes. Now, I was for a time using Flakes, and they, I got to be honest, it is really fun to play around with. It's, it's actually 
re remarkably easy to not make mistakes using flakes and to do a lot. The amount of things that I can do with Nix OS and not have to worry about running into a problem that I can't pretty easily solve is great. It, it, it's, it's really nice to not have to worry about you know, not being able to solve issues. And flakes is definitely one of those things. You can play around with flakes, uh, you know, completely removing flakes. If you decide it's too complicated or you just don't, you're not interested. It totally easy. It's not complicated at all. It, it flakes is really one of those features that is just nice to, to play around with. Now, do keep in mind, I'll switch back over to the desktop here, do keep in mind that it is an experimental feature. So you can enable it temporarily by running any Nix command and giving it the flag, experimental features, and Nix command flakes. Uh, you can also completely enable it permanently inside of your Nix configuration file. Um, I, yeah, you can do it inside of Home Manager as well, which I don't know. I kind of get why you might do that, but I don't really get it. So, yeah, but there's there's plenty of ways you can go about doing it. And that's also another thing that people do complain about with Nix. There's many ways of doing everything in Nix OS. That's not a problem, okay? Just because there's seven ways to do something doesn't mean that it's a problem. Now, if six of the ways are broken, then that's a problem. However, with NixOS, normally for everything that I've tried, if there's a few or more options for how I can approach something, that like if I try two different ways, they both work. If I try three different ways, they both work. So, t so far, I haven't found like, you know, a lot of hassle in trying to find solutions that work and switch to different things and all that kind of good stuff. So, yeah, uh, this is my opinions on flakes, uh, what flakes are, generally speaking. And yeah, I highly recommend you go check out Vim Joyer's video. I'll have that link down in the description. I'll also have a link to another video I did on NixOS. If you're confused at, you know, to what I'm really talking about here, go check that out. Also, up on the screen right now are my fantastic patrons. These are the people who support this channel and, uh, you know, go over and above and give me literally hard money to support the channel. Also, I do have some channel members and thank you guys for actually supporting that. It, it, it really does mean a lot. And thank you. And for everybody who's liking, commenting on the videos, telling YouTube that, uh, you know, I'm doing a good job. Thank you. It is very much appreciated. And hopefully I'll get to see you in the next video here very soon. So tell me what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.